I know I hear static too. Okay, sorry ladies, forgive me. I'm gonna mute just because something's getting staticky. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. All right, I wanna welcome everyone. This is Jackie Geisinger. This is your monthly Amber Region Leader Team Meeting. So this is a place for us to um, review and celebrate recognition from the previous month for our region. This is a place for us to share and hear from our top successors uh, for the previous month or quarter. And it's also a place for us to then plan what's going on this quarter. You're going to see me seasonally give you an overview. We just finished our winter season. We'll now roll into our spring season. And we at Jafra take a very clear focus. As you um, can tell, the first quarter was, <coughs> excuse me, was all about, um, you know, making sure that you saw the change in changing our language, really changing our culture really staying true to the direct selling model that Jan and Frank brought us, um, focused on parties, serving our customers, asking everyone, who do you know that, getting back on the phone and having conversations when we're out and about and on the telephone. Ignite has brought us that, the Fast Start program brought us that, and the way that you do and get to go to Hawaii is really what we really brought back to you. A culture of being successful yourself, then duplicating yourself by training others to do the same and getting off to strong starts in the business. Not buying a kit and being a kidnapper, but really being focused on how a small business from home or on the go could really bring you extra income each month, each week, and start to give you a wonderful part-time career. That's really the change of mindset that started in January with Business Builder, moving into our Fast Start program, and so the first quarter was getting back to parties and sponsoring people to have a business. I want to give you a great big kudos before I go any further. And that is that you grabbed this and you started changing momentum instantly. If you're still feeling like you're pulling out the muscles and trying to work that exercise more, stay with it because the amount of energy and synergy that is happening is the best I've seen in years. Um, before we started, Cheryl Sykes was sharing that she just had 70% growth, um, you know, organically. She's working hard, but staying focused on the IPAs, income producing activities. And that is starting to bring in consultants who want a business, who want to do the income producing activities as she is back to parties and leading her to sponsors and potential leaders. Many of you, I could go on and on with all of you that are on this call. There's about 25 of you live. <coughs> And I could probably tell a little story about each and every one of you. <coughs> Sorry, I'm going to try to make it through this um, as best as I can as uh, traveling is starting to get the best of me here. <coughs> so that being said, what I do want to do is just say a great big celebration to our winter close and to get us ready for spring. Because now as we're getting the sponsoring muscles working, we're going to focus on promoting branches. <coughs> This could be fun, huh? Right. Oh, well, welcome to the job. So here we go. So please forgive me for my little coughing. Um, but again, this is Jackie Geisinger, one of your 11 sales managers, bringing you the monthly leader meeting as a business update for Amber Region, April 2017. You're going to start to see that the monthly action webinar will only be hosted on this GoToTraining site. Everything else will be hosted on Zoom that we start to shift to throughout the, the rest of this year for right now because of the fact that I cannot hold um, up to 100 people on Zoom. So that is why this platform will continue. So when you get the email, register right away because it will automatically update you, okay? So again, <coughs> go ahead and register for everything the minute you get it. So here we go, let's keep on moving and let's tell you about our agenda today. Again, um, I know I shared with everybody live, but in case you're listening to the recording, make sure you always come to the action planning meeting with your action, with your monthly brochure, with your calendar to plan your calendar, and a place where you store your goals, the goals that you keep in front of you daily, weekly, monthly, and throughout the year. So we have three parts to our leader meeting today. We will go back and forth on share time. It gets a little hard to always keep everything open um, because of sound, but I'm going to go back and forth, and we're going to do three parts to our agenda. The first part is the Amber Region and Team USA results for the quarter, 
and for the month of March, and we'll spotlight some of the successes that are happening. <coughs> Part two will be the Spring Team USA Focus, and what are we focused on at JAFRA? You are watching something this year, just like you do in your business. If all of a sudden your team sales or team sponsoring isn't happening, in the middle of a month you got to shift gears, right? That's what Jaffa has been doing. You've noticed we quickly are weaving things in uh, throughout what we do and just hitting the road and seeing more people, which is exactly what you do. If you're feeling like something's not moving, you go see more people, whether they're in your team or you're looking for new team members. We're doing the same, so we're going to talk about our training tour. We're giving you more and more support called Believe, Ignite, and a new leadership development program by Angel in our training department, who's now part of our sales team, for grassroots building new leaders all across the nation. You're going to see us continue this focus on Fast Start and business developers because you're almost halfway through your existing consultants already um, being through goal one and goal two of the Fast Start program. So what do we got to do to race forward and make sure they achieve? <coughs> and then I am going to bring in the focus. Again, we have one focus this quarter, and that is spring new leadership, springing them into new managers or renewed managership that's happening right now. And we're just going to do a quick review of national recognition <coughs> so you can set your goals. The third piece to this will be our action planning time. How do we spend our hours in the office with people, setting our goals for the month of April? Each week, where are you going to do your phone calls? Where are you going to have your office time? What is everything on a checklist of phone calls um, for new people and your servicing calls to your current team? So you're going to see us go through that entire program. So let's start first with results. <coughs> and as we focus on results, we want to talk about first quarter. So let me do just a quick little debrief on what happened in first quarter. The first quarter that we had was in our active base last year in January, or excuse me, this year in January, we started with 40,000 consultants. We did end at the end of March with 38,989. So here's a key reason why we did the reactivation campaign, brought back formers. We probably had one of the best sponsoring months, which then brought us a, a growth in sales um, again, for the month of March, because more people bring you more success. And the more active they are, the more often they're ordering. So that's why when you look at your reports, to really pay attention to those inactive consultants and serve them kind of like your best clients, right? Telling them the specials each month, reaching out to them. Do they know how to be the smartest shoppers? Are they using 700 products or how many are they using? And let's keep that list growing. Because literally by the time our consultants order, it costs them less to use high-quality Jaffa than to go to a Target or a Walmart these days or a CVS. So again, we want to always teach them how to be smart shoppers, right? So <clears throat> we did a lot of sponsoring in the month of March, um, but we were making up for a very slow sponsoring start in January and February, um, which is okay. That's what we did. That's what we were. Now it's time. We've got the brakes on. The momentum's back up to climbing. So this is your time to continue the madness of what you did in March. Continue March madness and continue that so that your April showers bring a lot of May flowers. So as we look at the Amber region, let's go back to us. That was Jaffa USA. So we dropped down about, sorry, it's 10%. I didn't adjust the slide. Forgive me. But it's about a 10% decrease in our active base. The good news is, again, we're on the, the positive side. In the Amber region, we started with 83.74 in January, and we grew. So great job. Uh, we grew about 20%. <coughs> Sorry, and we ended with over 9,000 consultants April 1st. Last year, the difference is, though, that we're down about 800 over last year. <clears throat> so this is our opportunity to continue sponsoring and reach out to those inactive consultants. And again, because you had great sponsoring, getting them all activated. We're going to see a big lift in our active base this month because you all did incredible sponsoring. That's going to, again, once they get their orders going this month um, with their $400 or $500 months, you're going to start to see that active base grow. So now is the reach out to the many, many sponsors you had. Let's go to our leader base. We look at our active consultants, those who have ordered in the last four months, and then we look at our, our leader base. <coughs> we started 
with 1,956 leaders uh, the 1st of January, and we ended with 1,847. So again, another key group to service, making sure whether they just want to maintain managership or not, you're having monthly calls to help them achieve their weekly goals to maintain leadership. Uh, so we dropped down about 109 leaders. We're now at 1,847. So I really do believe in truth you're going to see a big shift in that, and especially when you're focused on fast start uh, for our existing consultants to come back to manager or become a manager. It, overall, in our sales, our sales were down 7% <coughs> over last year, but March was the best month of sales we've had since August of 2016. So how cool is that, that you started to shift everything and put those brakes on and turn it around? Ladies, I've been here on this side of the coin for 17 years. Let me tell you, that's the hardest thing to do is get those brakes on and start a positive climb. I couldn't be more proud of all your hard work that you did to get that momentum changer in March, which is what we kept saying. That's the game changer and the fame changer is the month of March, and you did it. So let's look at just a couple other things. The reason I also show you these charts, this is how you analyze your business. You own your organization, just like Jeff or the whole USA. Your district and your branch is your numbers. So as you look at the Amber region, we're just going to focus on us right now. We rank ourselves on the four categories on the right. So we always say what region is in first place, second place, third place. We look at the active base growth. How do you grow that base? New consultants and keeping your consultants ordering every four months. Number two, we also look at the growth in sponsoring and QNCing. Then number three, we look at leader growth. And number four, we look at our sales growth. Everything is about growth. So for you, when you go into your BIR, um, you can use that tool for right now, but if you go to the last sections of your BIR, it shows you what did you do last year during that same month in sales and sponsoring, et cetera, in your branch, district, and sales, and then it shows you, again, are you growing or are you negative? Because remember, just like Hawaii, you have to grow $1 over last year in order to earn Hawaii, right? So that's also a report that shows you the type of growth that you're having or not having. So let's break this down just a little bit. With new consultants, um, you can see what we did this past month of March. Last year, we had 292 sponsors. This year, you had 481 sponsors. That's a 65% growth. I will tell you this. That's the number one in the nation's success rate of sponsoring growth for the month of March. The difference is where you can see if you go a couple of boxes over to the right, what changed and the reason we didn't hit high ranking, we were number 11 out of 11 regions in January, number 8 in February, and we're on the trend up in March at number 7. And the reason we pulled down a tad in our ranking, if you go to the third box over, is because the number of QNCs out of 481 was only 116. So, and that's 30% down where the rest of the nation was 14% down. So you can see that kind of pulled a little variance there as to not hitting the top rankings. I'm not concerned about that. We know, again, um, all of that will come back this month as all of them turn into QNCs and moving towards fast start. So, But I want you to always understand business, what causes rankings, what causes numbers, because when you look at your reports, you want to be in control of these numbers just like we show you this. Then let's take a look at our retail sales. Overall, the company was down about 3% on average. We were down about 15%. Again, I feel this is going to come back this month with so much sponsoring that happened. So again, great job on sponsoring. I know the sales and the QNC will come back this month. If you look at your active base, here's another positive trend. For, again, the whole United States, we're down about 10% in the active base, but we were down about 8%. So again, an opportunity to see that we're moving towards above the average of building that active base and keeping people ordering Jafra. Then if we look at the average order size, I want you to start watching this on your reports. On your own reports, you can see this as well. You would take the number of orders placed and divide it by the um, sales, 
and you would see what is your average order size. The Hispanic market down on the bottom averages about 575 um, average order size. And if you go to the box next door to that, it shows that the average Hispanic um, consultant, her sales per month are about $489. If you go to the general market, our market above it, our average order size is about 319. So we're still kind of stuck on that 30% range. And the average sales per consultant is about 363. This is where you start to look at what do I do in my recognition? Should I be focused on 400, um, you know, so that they're at least in that 50% range potential, uh, specifically those new consultants? So again, a great opportunity. Overall, we're down a lot more. We're twice almost uh, less in order size than our, our other markets. And again, our sales per consultant are minus 7% where the other markets were up 2%. So you can see all of that is just a shift coming. It's okay. Keep sponsoring, and we'll start moving people towards that $400, $500 order and monthly sales. So when you look at your activity, this is section three and four of your BIR. How many of your active consultants are placing orders? What percentage? In the general market, we had about 47% in the Hispanic market is 56%. They're seeing more activity from their consultants. So we've got an opportunity there as well. What's very exciting is, um, again, we will see, this is just from month to month, not year to year or quarter to date. We are seeing 4% growth in our leader base in the English market as well as the Spanish market. Right there you can see we have 1,847 consultants and the general market is about 271%. So it's about 50 or 271 liters. It's about a 15% um, ratio is the size of our leader count as compared to the Spanish market. When you look at the active base, um, you can see we've got about 39,000 consultants and we are about 9,000. So about 20, 25% of the base um, is our market but we have less leaders, okay? So we always want to kind of keep that in line. So that's our focus, is really looking at leader growth, keeping the active base growing, and continue that sponsoring and moving them to QNC the month after they enroll. So let's do some celebration, and then I'm going to turn this to open mic. And while you're all sharing, I will get myself a cough drop. So um, anyway, what I do want to do is congratulate first. I'm going to go through all the recognition, and then I'm going to do some open mic. I've got some leaders that already have been sharing on a webinar from last week to this week, and I do want to um, spotlight anybody else that would like to share on the call. But let's come to first the congratulations on promotions. We have, <coughs> and normally I would scream and shout, but I'm not going to today with my voice, so please forgive me. Um, I'm going to kind of be a quiet Jackie today, but we want to celebrate all that are uh, requalified or new managers and their promoting managers. So we see Vicki Hacking promoted, uh, requalified a couple of branches, both Donna and Debbie. Congratulations to that, Vicki. And we also have Eileen Ellsworth, um, also requalified Carol uh, out of Tennessee, Kay Jacobs, requalified Sharon. Uh, we also have Mentori Braggs with two. This is really exciting with Mentori. She requalified Alma and Shirley Ivory, uh, first time qualifications there. Congratulations, Shirley, new manager. And this is moving uh, Mentori right back to DM2 and on her way towards DM3. So congratulations, two promotions for Mentori. Two for Vicki Hacking. Other spotlights, we have Leslie Stevenson requalified with Susan Anderson. Linda Ploner, yay, right on back with Kim Boucher. Uh, Betsy with Bonnie up in Wisconsin. Marsha with Nadine in Michigan. We have Donna in Ohio with, or sorry, I already said Donna, forgive me. Alba uh, requalified, that's so cool for you. Karen Stetler up in Michigan, great to see her back again. Wileen Dunlap, this is super exciting with Carolyn uh, Chastain out of Missouri. First time DM1. Uh, Kate Jacobs was also, uh, again, a new title, or requalified title, DM1. Karen Stetler back at DM2, Carolyn Chastain, uh, DM1. 
and really excited, Wileen, I know you and Anna G are also partnered together working well, so congrats. Uh, Vicky Shore and Maria Andrade, uh, Andrade, so we might hear from Norma, so we'll let Norma correct my speech there. But Norma Lopez, two promotions as well, requalified, so congratulations with Miss Maria and Miss Victoria. I just love it. That's so great. And Norma as well, back to DM2 and on her way to DM3. Coming back to us, Miss Jennifer Knight with Sharon Knight. Love that girl. Love that team. So great to have you back as well, Sharon Knight, to DM2. So again, one brand new manager, Shirley Ivory, and many great new requalifiers. Remember with the Fast Start to Manager program, this is the time to bring back all of those managers to earn the iPad Mini. They've only got one chance. March, April, or May to get on track for that, and of course, everybody else that is new in their first six months. So congratulations to all of you. I'm also, again, just going to go through names really quick. I won't read all everything on the screen. I will email this to you and post it on our Facebook pages, but I want to just acknowledge very top in all categories of titles. For our top leaders in branch paid wholesale number one ambassador, she gets to hold on to that until you all become an ambassador, right? But look at her numbers. Vicki Hacking with over 60,000 brands paid retail in March. Our top DDs were Susan Anderson, Sally Elliott, Jan Iverson. Now you'll also see Beatrice Wyvoda and Linda Mitchley, ranging from about 17,000 to 22,000 branch paid retail. DD2 category, Eileen Ellsworth at almost 20,000. Then we go into our district managers, level one, Sarah Hippel, Helen Wells, BJ Strummy, Kathy Morasti, Chris Brain, all ranging from 14,000 up to 15, 16,000 dollars. Our DM2s in our category, we have, excuse me, Mentori, Lou Manhallen, uh, Brenda Garino, Norma Lopez, and Karen Stetler, ranging from about eleven five to fifteen thousand again. Our district manager level threes: Nadine, Diana, Bonnie, Kim Boucher, and Marilyn Lewis, ranging from again about fourteen five all the way to thirty thousand. And in our manager categories, number one manager Susan Nichols, almost seventeen thousand. Linda Hartley right behind her, Daphna Amir, Lisa McDaniel, great job, and Judy Hannon out of Ohio. So congratulations to our top team sales. Then we have our top in personal <coughs> sponsoring. Our tops in personal sponsoring, I did this by category again. This is just sponsoring, not QN Sing. For now, I'm going to stay to just sponsoring. Top ambassador, Vicki Hacking with four. District directors. Uh, Mary Hugstadt with five, Sally Elliott with four, and I'm only doing four or higher, which is one a week. Mentori number one, DM1 with nine, following behind Shafika, BJ, Lori Alley, Chris Brain, uh, Pat Clover, Norma Lopez, and Carol Boy are all with five, six, seven, and, and nine sponsors. Great job. Look at that East Coast team out there as well as the state of Washington and Arizona. So great to see, and Hawaii. Then our district manager, level two, Lisa Washington, number one, DM2, with 11 personal sponsors while she's in the hospital. Oh, my gosh, and going through a whole lot in her life. Lisa, bravo, congratulations. Following in DM2 category, Helen Walsh, Sharon Knight, Gina O'Neill, Linda Wright, with five or seven sponsors. Great job, or sorry, with five sponsors. DM3 category, number one, Linda Wright, with seven, Marilyn Lewis, Kim Boucher, Bonnie Striggins, all with four or five. Our top in manager category, we have Linda Hartley with 14, Carla Spurgeon with 8, Debbie Saucy with 8. Following behind, Daryl Lee, Jackie Elves, Cecilia Pope, Janice Todd, Sandra Farrington, B.B. Marks, Susan uh, Nichols and Susan Sheehan, Michelle Ainsworth, Gail Jamison, Cheryl Sykes, Lisa McDaniel, and Susan Hall with 4 and beyond. So great job. You are really, truly just making a big difference. So I continue to challenge you to keep those calls going. I wanted to then come back with just a couple more categories before I open the mic up. And this is our central branch sponsoring. We had tops in central branch, ambassador category, Vicki Hacking with 7, district director category, Mary Hugstead with 9, Sally Elliott with 8. And I didn't do DD2 because, again, I looked at five or more to be able to hit the branch sponsoring. District Manager Level 1, Mentori Briggs. Are you all ready for this? 42 central branch sponsors. If you are watching Mentori all over Facebook this weekend, 
Her and her team are all focused on Hawaii. She has them in Mentor Mon Move It Monday for the Mentoring Future Manager team. She's already promoted two branches with her focus. And most importantly, she is doing it just like them. If you saw previously, Mentori had nine personal sponsors and her team had 42. So Mentori, great job. I think she has about eight people focused on Hawaii. So um, congratulations, Mentori. You rocked the United States as number one right there. Can you imagine her sales as they all QNC this month? Oh my gosh, Mentori, I can't wait to see you cash your check. You'll be moving right to DM3. Also in the DM1 categories, this is so cool, with eight, Shafika, BJ, and with seven, Carol Boyer, Lori Alley was six, Chris Brain six, Norma Lopez six, Pat Clover five. Great job again. DM2, Sharon Knight, 17, rock star. Look at that, second highest in the whole nation, Sharon. Uh, she said she was coming back last week on the call, and boy, is she. So uh, we want to hear a little bit about what you're doing, because you're just amazing. So um, we'll hear from Sharon in just a little bit. Great job. Lisa Washington right behind her. Look at that with 11 again. Uh, Gina O'Neill with 10. And Helen Wells with 5. Let's go to the DM3. You're going to hear from her today as well. Miss Linda Wright with 8. She is, uh, she and Linda Wright and Sharon Knight are really seeing some huge volume growth in their overall district. So great job. Uh, DM3 is also Nadine Davis, Anna G. Marilyn Lewis, Bonnie Striggins, all the five and above. In our manager category, Linda Hartley with 14. Carla Spurgeon, great job. And Debbie Sassi, you two are right neck and neck all the time with eight. Jack Yells with seven and Daryl Lee Carlisle. We have Bibi with, seven, with six. Ces, uh, Cecilia Pope, Janice Todd, Sandra Farrington, great job. Susan Sheehan, Susan Nichols, Michelle Ainsworth, and Gail Jamison, all with five and above. So I always want to take time for you to just celebrate each other. Um, I know sometimes you're kind of half listening to this, but boy, this is really where it's fun and a way to just take time to hear each other's names and celebrate. That is probably one of the best sponsoring months I've seen in general market in years and years and years. The whole home office was very proud of you, and I know our sales and our leadership and QNCs will follow. I am just so incredibly excited for all of you. Let's take a look at our top consultants in personal sales. This is some of our last category here before we go to open share time. So, <coughs> excuse me, I wanted to just recognize the top consultants. We have top in sales with Jackie Elves, and I may um, not say a name properly, so please forgive me. But uh, Susina Gonzalez from California with almost 2,500 in sales with Jackie, congratulations. With Susan Nichols, we have Francis Lucero with 2,100. With Susan Fluharty down there in New Mexico, Adriana Ariana uh, Ano, sorry, with 1,900. With Chris Brain, I love it, Shelby out in Pennsylvania with 1,900. Linda Ayers with Sharon from Colorado with 1,900. Linda Morgan Henry with Maria Martinez from Georgia with over 1,800. Ben Brenda Garino with uh, Sandra Flores with over 1,800. And Carolyn Chastain again with Erin Violet from uh, Missouri with over 1,800. So congratulations, leaders, on your influence as well. They're earning fast start right away the first month, right? So how exciting is that? We also have from our top sellers of leaders. In our district director category, our top two DDs over 2,000 was Jan Iverson and over 3,000 Phyllis Luther. Our top district managers, Janet Zanini over 4,000 and those over 2,000, BJ and Chris. Those over uh, 1,500, Janet Cower and Barb Castellari. We also then have our district manager level threes, Kim Boucher with over 3,000, Anna G, 2,300, Linda Wright, 2,200. We also have our top in personal sales, Linda Hartley with over $9,000 in personal sales, Daphna Amir over $4,000, all over $2,000 is Janice Todd, Marilyn Lang, and those over uh, $1,800, Cheryl Sykes, Jeff Geffers, Linda Potter Lint, congrats, and Mary Ellen Council. Great variety, congratulations, and many of these names are repetitive. You're seeing them selling, they're also sponsoring and focused on promoting branches. I do want to end with this. We had a challenge that went out, um, and if I missed anybody, please let me know. 
Um, so I, and I may have them in my notebook and not put on the screen. So please do let me know if I missed you and I apologize. But we have Michelle Ainsworth, Sarah Hippel, Maureen, Susan, Linda, Linda, Carol, and Susan all reported their five to seven day uh, challenge on the call. And I know Donna Hayes did as well. So I have you sitting in front of me and I didn't type it on the screen. So please forgive me. Um, and our winner of the drawing was uh, Maureen Droz. And I'm sorry, the drawing slips are downstairs. That's why I didn't, I may have more names I didn't type in this morning. But I do want to say Maureen won the drawing. I know she's with us live on camera. So congratulations. And our top caller with the top yeses was Susan Sheehan. She made over 40 calls during the uh, seven-day challenge. So great job taking 10 minutes a day on the phone. And that's how what helped her get her five sponsors. So again, you know, there's something about take 10. And we're going to talk about that in our training leader section today. But uh, this really works when you need something to do to your team. The reason I came up with this was... We were given a challenge by Scott to get 100 new sponsors in a week. And I have to tell you, in the month of January, we had just about 112 sponsors. In the month of February, about 115. Our goal every month to grow the English market is 275. So you could see we were behind, we were behind. When we started the challenge, we were just over 200 sponsors. And I said, okay, why not? Let's achieve 100 new sponsors this week. <coughs> and see what happens. And what I've learned from Ignite meetings is 10 minutes of phone time will change anybody's attitude in a heartbeat. I've seen people sponsored in 10 minutes. I've seen people book four parties for the next week, five facials, eight facials, right? So I've seen so much success if you just pause, get on the phone, and make calls even at 8.45 at night. There's no excuses. It's just making phone calls and being your brand. And I got to tell you, we did that challenge, and you guys were amazing. We had 230 sponsors in a week. That's more than the whole month of January and February combined. So I've got to say you rocked it. Great job. And I do these things because I want you to do things like that with your team. Right now, you've got through the 15th of the month right? So it's the first payday you've got. So think of challenges to end the first part of the month strong through the 15th and then finish the last part of the month strong through the end. So um, again, I couldn't be more proud. I couldn't say thank you any better. It was the best week ever in our general market that I even know of the last 17 years. And because of that, I just added every time I saw everybody with start dates uh, for that week. And our drawing winner, could you imagine, was Mentori Bragg. So congratulations, Mentori. 42 branch sponsors, I think that's got to be a world record for you. So um, thank you to Maureen, Susan, and many of you may have reported, like I said, forgive me, my lead slip drawings are downstairs in my other office, um, but I do want to say a great big thank you to all of you, and now what can you do going forward with that? So before we go forward, let me just uh, bring myself back to some open mics. I'm going to actually take my camera off for a moment here, if I may. And I just want to um, be able to uh, spotlight a couple people. So let me just unmute a few people that I did ask to share today. So bear with me here. Uh, let me just unmute. Linda Wright, I'm going to call upon you first. And then I'll go to Sharon Knight. They shared with us on a webinar last week on just some of the successes. And so I'm going to ask them to share in just a quick minute. Um, and then I've got a couple more that we'll, we'll share as well. Uh, Marina, I'd love to have you share and uh, Cheryl as well, just on some great things that are happening. Um, and Michelle Ainsworth as well, you had some great success last month. So I might pick on just a few of you for a few moments. But let me come back to um, Linda Wright, if you're here, has been having, when I look at the overall year and growth, she is really one of the strongest uh, growing districts right now. And you're seeing some great success with her, and she's working with her um, sister and uh, district or manager. Uh, I can't talk, sorry, lose my voice here. Uh, her sister, Susan. And they've just been doing some great things with Zoom. Linda's got a meeting room where they all get come together. She rents that out in her town. So she's got places to bring people back together. What you're seeing is she's back doing parties. Her sale, personal sales are up her personal sponsoring, and her district growth is happening as well, which is super exciting. So, Linda, I'm going to open the mic, if you don't mind. Are you able to share? And right now you're muted, Linda. 
All right, I'm here. Go for it, darling. Thank I lost, you. I lost my camera space, but that's okay. I've got you've got my voice. Um, so really, one of the things that was so exciting for me was often in the in the past I've used um, post calls and those kind of things, but for some reason I just felt like I wanted to connect. So I had my list with me, and Jackie, your suggestion of ten minutes was brilliant and it helped motivate me. I made some phone calls and actually spoke to several people and what I got from them was, wow, it's so nice to hear you live, not a robocall. And I'll tell you, it really made me feel like I was listening to my instincts. I followed them and made some connections with people I hadn't spoken with in a while. And it was truly me saying thank you to them and letting them know what was available to them at that moment. And so those calls were very simple because they were focused, I was focused on them and not myself. What I got as a result though was this incredible feeling of unity and connectedness. Mm -hmm. And um, I also have been, as, you, as Jackie said, I have been using Zoom with my di my district every Monday morning. We have, I mean, we struggled at first, and I wanted to say thank you to Susan, my sister, Susan Sheehan, because she really is much more technologically savvy than myself, and she kind of helped keep us um, uh, learning. And so now I'm feeling very confident, and also did a Zoom meeting with a brand new consultant in another state. So. I, I can see this as going forward to new tools to stay connected with people and to see their faces too. So that's what's going. It's quite exciting. Well, Linda, congratulations. Um, again, your name is just popping up everywhere and the key is the growth is happening. So we're excited to see you coming back to DM3, DD this year. It's just that focus, and what I, I, I love most is it's really your voice. The brand is your voice, right? So, um, and it can be recorded every so often, but you don't want that to become the norm. So if they have an invite to get on Zoom and listen, and they have an invite to just have a conversation, um, it, it's about them. So great job, I appreciate that. And the power of 10 minutes a day, um, I can tell you that's really what's changing the Ignite, Ignite focus is a fast five here, a fast 10 there. You don't wait to have power hours in today's world because most of us don't find spare hours, but we can find spare five minutes and spare 10 minutes. So that's the trend. When people say business has changed, it hasn't. What's changed is people have less time to be able to put into life because they're managing so many things from their family to you know, their parents to their, their, you know, generations of family. We're all caretakers in today's world, too. So because of that, it's finding five minutes here, ten minutes there. If it's only one or two calls, you don't know when that one call makes the difference in that person's life. That's the brand of you that matters most. So thank you so much, and congratulations, Linda. Thank you. All right, and I see Miss Sharon Knight on the camera. And Sharon, uh, you had one of the best sponsoring, my gosh, with 17 branch sponsors last month. Uh, Jennifer's back with us, which is super exciting. So what's ignited you? What's working for you, Miss Sharon Knight? Oh, well, conference was the initial start. I mean, conference had me fired up when I got back and uh, wanting to reach out to the other consultants and to find out what their goals were. And, and in talking with Jennifer, having conversations with her, she shared her um, goals and desires to take her business to um, a new uh, level. And so we worked out a plan and um, reaching out with the other consultants and sharing Jaffer's new programs and getting them excited about the products and to see how uh, it can take their business to a new level. And just making it more about them than myself and that was the result and I didn't prejudge if initially I did I said, oh well I don't know if this one um, have time to do their business you know kind of based on before but at the last minute I just threw all that out and just reached out to everybody that I could 
and um, shared what was happening in, in Jaffra and to look at their business uh, in a new light and to see how they can grow too. I think that was, you know, the, the funnest part when I heard you last week was, <laughs> you know what, I, it's so easy to prejudge. Uh, I doubt that you're the only one on the phone call that's done that, right? But it is. You kind of pick and choose. And we sort of go to the easiest first, right? So, okay, right. So this one I can do. This one, oh, I don't know. And they go back on your chicken list, right? So right. I think Scott calls it there's a dirt list and a chicken list. And the dirt list is those who, who know you enough, they'd buy dirt from you, right? So we tend right. to do the dirt list first, right? But then right. we move it and we go to the chicken list. And it's pretty fascinating what happens in a chicken list that they really do want you, like you're almost surprised, right? So, but it's yeah. always about timing. It's not about, you know, anything other than them. And if you just from your heart, just pile every day for five to 10 minutes and you just call, you don't have time to judge. Cause you know, it's kind of like when we went to Ignite and you see Gru from, you know, the, the movie where that phone looks like a monster, right? You're overthinking it, right? And really, it's just about them. And that's that kind of philosophy. I know I teach it a million ways a Sunday, but, you know, how to just be a day maker. If someone called you and said, I thought of you because, you're just being a day maker. And it's from the heart. And that's the difference that Ignite is. It's about working from the heart, not the head. And that's the big shift that happened to you. And you care enough to get their goals. And so, um, good job, Sharon. It really is caring enough to reach out and not getting you in the way, but always putting their way first and foremost. So great job. Appreciate that. Thank you, Sharon. And one thing I want to add too that was I think was a plus is working out an action plan with them that um, is duplicatable and easy for them to follow and concentrating more on the action more so than looking at the numbers. Because if they do the action, the numbers are going to come. Exactly, exactly. That is so simple. It kind of goes back to that, you know, if you just invite three to five people a day along your way, keep it simple, and you have a new conversation with three to five new people, and you service three to five in your system list, watch what happens every day. And you can do that. You know, it's that discipline. If you have lunch break every day at noon and you work, if people say, I work, just say, great. It's a different discipline. doesn't mean you can't build a business. What it means is before lunch break, you can't take lunch until you give yourself five minutes on the phone. You can't take your coffee break until you take five minutes on the phone. How about before you leave the office, you take five minutes on the phone. In those three scenarios, that's 15 minutes of phone time that they can fit in and they leave the office and their business is already built, right? So... It's those disciplines that you're talking about, those action plans, and that's what we coach them to because if they're waiting for more time, they're never going to find it because something's going to happen in your life to take more time, I promise you. So it's the only thing I can guarantee you is someone else is going to need your time. So the one thing we want to do is t just find little bits of time. So I love that, and, and great job reaching out to everybody. So thank you, Sharon. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Let me come back to, um, we heard her earlier. Let me just see. I'm going to try this. Mentori Briggs, I'm just going to see if you're capable of speaking. She's always at an event or doing something, but I'm going to try to grab her really quick. I see her on here. This is a risky one. Mentori, are you out there? And you're muted if you are. You muted yourself, so I've got you unmute. Are you able to speak, Mentori? We're going to get her yet. Not giving up on her. 42 sponsors. I know, right? 10 a week. Can you imagine that average? Okay, we're going to get you, Mentori. So get yourself in a place where you can speak and let us know. Just type, type in the chat box. We want to hear from you. Okay, so we also have with us, we're just going to do about um, another eight great minutes of sharing. So if I may, I would like to have, bear with me, Miss Maureen. Um, we're talking today about the power of parties. What happened to you over the weekend, Maureen? Oh, sorry. Bear with me. I got you there. Go for it, girl. I booked a party. It was 70 miles away. And I've also hosted and um, two other sponsors from that city. 
and it's a very small town. So anyway, I went to the party and I called her the day before and said, be sure and call and remind everyone at the party. So she had seven people there. She had three outside orders. She had over $1,000 in sales and I sponsored her. And so I was so excited. Woo! And her daughter is very interested as well. She lives in a, the largest city in South Dakota. And I'm hoping to get her in the near future. She just started her new job and finished college. So she wants to wait a short time, but she already loves the products. So it looks good. Congratulations, Maureen, you again, I just want to say what's so fun in watching you this year is you just start kicking into party gear. Probably within the last month or two, you just really kind of, maybe a couple of months, you just really started getting that focus. And now that that's happening, isn't it just different to do business this way? Well, I love, I've always loved the parties, but I hadn't done one for about five years when I retired and came back to really wanting to do something with Javra. And I love being with the people and sharing it anyway, so it's really become a lot of fun for me. Good for you. Well, congratulations. Ladies, we're hearing lots of things about $1,000 parties. I mean, how gosh darn exciting is that, right? So great job. Thank you for sharing, Maureen. Appreciate it. Congratulations. All right, Ms. Cheryl Sykes, I wanted to spotlight you. You were sharing earlier, if you're able, bear with me. I'm going to unmute you manually. Cheryl, are you with us? Yeah, I am. I am. Here I am. There you are. So share with us, if you would, Cheryl, um, you are having incredible growth. Brag a little bit about your growth and then tell us what, what you feel is starting to move different for you. Well, we have grown right at 70% in our branch um, paid wholesale this year over last year. It's, it's really been amazing and a lot of it is just better communication with the team and just that general osmosis, I think that we all know that when you're, your, your consultants know when you're working and when they don't, when you're not. <laughs> and so I have been more focused in, um, in doing the business and we have sponsored nine people this year and I think that's probably more than we sponsored in all of last year and here we're just in the first, in, in the first quarter. So um, that's really exciting and it's just, I think it's just, you know, it's, your excitement is contagious. <laughs> so, Thank you. It works. It, it, it's teach more parties. I'm having more parties like Maureen, just really doing more, um, doing more parties. So I've got three more coming up before the end of this month, plus a girls' night out here at my home. So hopefully, I'll um, my sales will bop up over that 2,000 mark this this time. Excellent. Well, and I think that's the exciting piece. It's, you know, getting you, I've heard you say my goal is to get back to parties and now that, you know, you've got parties up in the next couple of weeks and it seems to be the easiest place to train consultants and to help them get going in the, in the process. So congratulations on the growth and uh, again, great success to you. Congrats. So let me just go a couple more minutes um, just because they're sitting on my camera screen um, and they both achieve success. We had a few few leaders who had five QNCs last month. Um, Mary Hugstead, we had Mentori Briggs, and we also had Michelle Ainsworth, who not only did the sponsoring, but had the QNCs. So, Miss Michelle, I know you're sitting on camera with us, which is awesome. Are you able to share with us what, what started changing or happening to you with what you did last month? You know, I'm, I am, um, along with everybody else, I think conference started us off, and then I think just doing that five-minute thing, because I do it, um, I took a little notes just to kind of say something, but I like if I'm sitting in the car even, I just get on my phone and, and talk or text a few people. Um, I, I actually had nine, of, nine or ten of my inactive order, too, which helped me to get... Um, uh, I earned the, you know, the tablecloth, so that was exciting for me just to get even them ordering. So I did have a good month. I didn't fall into the um, top one, but for me it was a good month in sales. So I, I just think that keeping on them and talking to them, I'm still, right now I did, I got, I usually never um, sponsor without q and in, so that's my, uh, my goal all the time is I try to q and them. I have one other sponsor that came to me. Um, from Jaffra, and I've been working with her, but I just can't get her to um, QNC or get the orders in. So I think it's 
it's us that has to help get them going and get excited. And if you don't know them or they come into your branch, it's a lot harder. So I just think that I try to work with them a little bit better, you know, and it, they work out better for me if I can cue and see them right off the bat. I have four new ones coming in. I should be able to get them in by the 15th, I think, but they're all new. So I'm, I'm hoping that they all um, come in with their orders too. Um, the others were formers that come back in. So I didn't have any new uh, new people, but I'm also trying to promote. I'm a little slow at that, but I'm I'm working on it. So well, yeah, I think like just consistency, just consistency, and getting this going, and um, you know, getting them activated. I think that's the that's the thing too. So and congratulations to all you guys. You guys all did awesome. It was it was really fun. I think that little WhatsApp thing. I mean, again, everybody's saying that, but I think it's fun just to see what everybody's doing, and it gives you. I watched a thing last night. I was going to say this. I watched a thing last night on um, Dateline. I don't know if any of you guys listened to it, but how your phone is now working like as, an, as your addictive brain works, your middle brain, and they are focusing in on all of us and trying to get us to check our phones all the time and look at everything, and it gets your body, it gets your uh, dopamine in your brain to get you excited, and, and, and they're, they're doing that on purpose, and the phone does do that. So when we do that WhatsApp thing, and you hear that ding, you're like, oh, and, and you it just all of a sudden kicks in and you run and look at your phone. And I really think it works and it's positive. Everything on there is positive. It, I mean, not everything, but you know, you guys see that. But um, I, I just think that helps too. So, and you, you help us. That's the other issue too. Is you're, you're awesome. So thank you so much. Thank you. thank you. Thank you. Well, congratulations again. All right, everyone. I am going to uh, keep everyone muted here. And let me just come back into a summary here. So let's get ourselves back into the screen. This is where you want to grab your notebook, paper, and pen. Um, but I wanted to really just say again before I, I move to our next section, a great big congratulations to each and every one of you. Thank you to those of you sharing today. Um, but really to just say thank you. It really was a game changer. Now what we do is continue. Don't do it because double sponsoring is over for Hawaii. This is about doing business as business should be every day. When we hold weekly parties, the odds of sponsoring weekly are always there. So again, trying to do the practices of this business that literally keep it as simple as possible so you can teach that structure uh, to your team. So bear with me. Let me get my camera changed here just a bit so we can see our screen. Okay, so <clears throat> if we could summarize what we heard thus far um, from our recognition success team today um, that were spotlighted, is just talking about communication, calling people by telephone, conversations, those seeds that you plant every day are how you grow the harvest. Number two is even the WhatsApp. Everything that we do together, I, I only do things that I believe are systems you can duplicate with your team. So do you have with your branch, um, do you have a WhatsApp for your central branch and your district leaders? Try to use something that's fast and interactive. I have to tell you, I get far less responsiveness that I have to be on top of because you're all helping each other. That's what developing team spirit is about. Whether it's a positive or a negative, to Michelle's point, that's on a WhatsApp, you're just helping each other. Nothing's right, nothing's wrong. It's helping each other. So <clears throat> again, how do you get your team to kind of feel team spirit? I guarantee you, hands down, if we didn't have that WhatsApp going on over that last week of May, or March, excuse me, we would not have seen the sponsoring we saw. I probably could prove that black and white statistics. So again, how do you get that team going? Maybe you even have separate groups that are for you know your, your future managers. Call it the Move Up Monday team in your district. Those are things that matter. So again, having places like Zoom that you can see people face to face. Phone is a conversation or your voice. And then a WhatsApp is all of you rallying around common goals, common questions and common objectives. That's the purpose of communication and of course your Facebook groups. So if you really think about communication today, that's the models that work in today's world like Michelle said according to TV again. Second piece to that is to make sure you've got places to bring people together. 
excuse me, whether it is they go to your parties with you. You never want to have a seat to your left and your right empty. You should always have potential consultants and consultants with you at every party. Potential consultants at every meeting you host and them with some as well and every single training you go to. So again, getting back to parties and a place where you can bring people to do it all in one night because the one thing again that's changed in business is less time. The model of how we sell and do it is really still the same today. It's that we want to maximize the hours or the minutes we put into the business and have people training with us have people looking at the business with us, and that's how you develop leaders. As we end the most important hour, which is recognition, now we're gonna go into our leader training. So let's do section two rather quickly. I'm gonna go through information here for all of you. But the first information that we've got is about spring. What is the Jaffra corporate focus for spring? It's about leadership, you developing new leaders. You saw we had many great leaders renewed and new during this past quarter um, and more specifically this past month. Now we're going to do the same this whole entire quarter. So we're going to review quickly your national reco. So this is where you want to set your goals. <coughs> I'm going to ask Carla to share with us a little bit on the Dallas update. So you know the way orders have been done in the past is now renewed and new again to us. We're going to talk about our tours and our training because we've got more for all of you. And then we'll end with Hawaii and Fast Start. All right. So we're going to go through all of that and then we'll just end with some goal setting for April. So let's take a look now as we spring forward and talk about what's our focus. Our focus is for all of you. We started the new year and I invited you all to be a part of Aspire Club 2.0. It is about um, having... You know, all of you moving towards DM3 and above for the first time. We're being a first-time DD with our focus this year. You're hearing growth like Cheryl's talking about with 70% growth. Mentori with 14 branch sponsors. Sharon Knight as a manager with 17 branch sponsors. That is what's starting to change. Many of you, Lisa Washington, many of you with double-digit branch sponsoring. And we know they're QNCing this month. This is how you build $1,000 paychecks. I want you to just take a moment and think about if every month your commission overrides was $1,000 a month, one, how would that make you feel? And maybe many of you are district directors and you already have that. Great. Write down the next goal. Maybe it's getting to the $5,000 mark. What kind of a monthly override do you want to cash? And how would you feel every month with that $1,000 deposit or more in the bank? And I'm just focusing on 1000 this quarter because we're going to focus on simple recipes. Just like we know, weekly parties lead to weekly sponsoring, lead to promoting branches every 90 days. No ifs, ands, or buts when you bring people alongside you. But $1,000 checks happen this simple. How would I get to DM3 in the simplest possible way? It's called 20 business builders. When you have 20 business builders in your central branch, starting right now, and between now and the end of this year, you focus on 20 business builders. That's going to grow your central branch $120,000 paid retail. That's insane, right? But from that, you will have people that hit part two to the Fast Start program with three directs and an indirect your commission checks will be much higher because three directs all again focused at minimum i'm just giving you minimum numbers of 2400 there's another 80,000 in sales that doesn't include anybody else on your team that you already have so if you did these two things 20 business builders in the next nine months and worked on out of those business builders to get to part two a fast start program at least three you will start to be at a level of 200,000 in central district sales. That's how you get to DM3. The reason I'm saying you can do it by the end of this year is because we're not even going to count all the people already in your team from the first three months. That's a bonus. So I want you to set some clear paths. How would I get to DM3? Well, we know the average commission checks are well over 1,000. 20 business builders, and focused on three of those business builders or fast start achievers to earn the iPad mini. 
okay? So I want you to be thinking about who are they? Who are the three that you're first going to work with to qualify for the iPad mini? If they're an existing consultant, they only have March, April, and May to get to manager by those qualifications. So that's the first group you got to do a little bit of emergency time on. Then anyone from, again, um, March later, they have six months. So who since March 1st have you sponsored? That could be one of those three. All right? So that is our simple formulation. As we focus on spring, it is about offering leadership. We have been proving that making three to five calls in five to 10 minutes every day can make a huge difference. But at the beginning of each week or each month, do you look for three to five future leaders to reinvite, to ignite into leadership? Whether they're renewing or they're new. You always wanna have Three to five new people you talk to every day. Three to five consultants or leads you're following up with a day. But really, each week, are you working with three to five future leaders to promote out by June 1st? Because every season, you want to add new leaders. That is your top priority. I want to show you what else we have for you. To help support you, we are actually adding more leadership development. We can find potential leaders, but if you struggle promoting branches, there's a missing gap. So we have identified in both Spanish and English market an opportunity to help all of you. This is kind of what we call grassroot building. This is new, and we've got leadership development coaching sessions live, face-to-face, -face, coming around the nation for the next two, three, four months. Angel Rodriguez, who was with the training department, is now working with our sales team, and he's going to meet for just two hours and a cup of coffee at a Panera, it might be a Denny's. He's going to meet and follow where are our top sponsoring areas in the U.S. So we took a look, and here they are. If I don't have exact cities, he's morphing this as I speak. We have Atlanta, Georgia, woohoo, out there, uh, Miss Cheryl and Cherie and um, <coughs> Lisa. Atlanta, Georgia is coming. When we do this, you're going to see Spanish meetings in the morning and English gatherings in the evening. And we're going to do core basics 101, just like Ignite, just like we've been training all year. How do I develop leaders? How do I keep sponsoring weekly myself? In order to keep coming back to Angel's training, you have to sponsor two every month. So there's an accountability to get the continued training. It's not like, oh, I want to be. This is for those who are willing to do the work and take action after we develop you. So we've got Atlanta. We've got Alabama. We've got Chicago. We've got Denver. Yuma, Arizona. Detroit, Michigan. Florida. Sacramento. San Jose and Las Vegas. You are the cities that we're starting to see some growth and grassroots potential. So I will be updating you as the weeks progress. We don't have things locked in stone. We will start to reach out to all of the leaders. This whole focus coming up this week already is Detroit, Michigan. Wednesday, April 12th at, in Taylor, Michigan at the Panera Bread. It will be held from 6 to 8 p.m. as of now, and I'm just confirming with Angel, so bear with me. But as of right now, I've got it at 6 to 8 p.m. It is for consultants, leaders, and potential consultants to come in and have some hands-on, roll up our sleeves, let's get to work, and help develop new leaders in your backyard. The key, again, is you're going to apply with some daily action steps. And then we will be continuing to invite you back when you and your consultants are sponsoring two each month to get the invitation back. So Detroit leaders, I will be reaching out to all of you as I get everything confirmed today with Angel. This is just in the process of being built. The second piece is we know there is a Believe Tour going on for the Hispanic markets this month in nine cities. These meetings are from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. We're having the tour in the month of May, so watch for the official invitation being launched in the next few days for the Believe Tour for the English market. 
as of right now, unless the time changes, I do know these are the cities, we may change the time just due to our flight. So bear with us while we finish this. But they're 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. You basically pay for your lunch. I think the Hispanic meeting is $9. So we're doing the same thing. We're getting everything um, continued this week to finish. But we will be in Chicago on April 9th. So Minnesota, Iowa, Indiana, Michigan, Wisconsin, Illinois, even the Dakotas. Look at your quick one-leg flights in and out of Chicago for the day. Get in your car and do an overnight retreat. You'll do more in a car when you go that far than you might do sitting in a meeting. But this is for leaders and potential leaders to come together. You'll see Scott, Ivan, Angel, and Jackie all at all of these meetings. You're going to hear the latest news in marketing. We're going to give you some skills on how to develop your leadership skills. This is a day for you to come together to believe what is going to literally explode your business this year. So <clears throat> Chicago is May 9th. Boston area, New Jersey, New York, um, Connecticut, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Rhode Island, all of us driving in, whether it's the night before and you come in for the next day, take a quick flight in. That is May 10th, my birthday. And May 11th will be Pittsburgh. So we've got Ohio area. We've got Maryland, Virginia. You're all within three, four hours of driving to these locations. Be there. Let's show this company what we can do in rallying around the general market. May 17th, Arcadia. Let's pull in from Arizona to California and surrounding areas. Turn it into a one-night retreat. Look for cheap flights or get your plan in action. It's worth canceling your meeting to be at this. That's all I'm going to say. This is it. We've got four cities for all of us to come together, and I will do a backside meeting for all of you that aren't in the backyards. But just make sure you plan to be there and believe together. Just like conference was a game changer we heard before, so is the Believe Tour. Then we have the Ignite update. So you've got Leadership Development with Angel, Believe Tour with your Vice President and Director of Sales, and you've got Ignite. I wanted to share just a quick update about Ignite. Ignite, as you can see, the number of guests. Ignite is about guests. Ignite is having a place to invite potential consultants to attend. It's not about everybody attending that's already in JAFRA. Even though it's the best basics training there possibly is, a new consultant who comes to Ignite will forever be changed. But someone coming with guests will forever change them and change their future. So you can see what's happened from January, February, and March. We've grown from 80 to 180 to 250 guests. We grew from 10% sponsoring to 50 to now 60% of every guest that comes to the meeting joins JAFRA. I can personally tell you that though if they don't join, they leave booking a party where they're going to invite people and get themselves ready to take a look at the business one more step. So I've spoken to guests. I have to tell you, it's pretty amazing. Here's the other side to attendance. We're seeing 35% of the attendees are leaders. 45% is consultants, which is great. And then again, the guests are about 60%. Overall, I'm just doing averages. So what a great opportunity for us to continue to grow. We do have a new goal, and that new goal is to have 1,000 guests every single month. That is about 15 to 25 guests for every Zoom meeting. We have typically up to six a month in person and two Zoom rooms. That's going to change because, unfortunately, being the only one in the English market, I won't be able to do so many um, Ignite meetings in the month of April, or excuse me, the month of May, because of the Believe Tour. I would rather be at all of those, and we will do Ignite by Zoom. So I'll give you that in just a second. But I want you to really think about, especially because this month, your monthly business meeting was about how to invite Ignite guests to their to an Ignite Zoominar or a meeting room uh, that Jackie's on tour with with you. The most important piece is that leaders save a table. Picture this, a consultant who wants to be a manager. The best gift she has is to have four potential consultants or more sitting there so she can promote a branch in a night. Remember when we used to talk about that? Well, Ignite is the new way to do it. When a guest can actually see what the business is about, 
they love it. They see it's more fun. They start to network and it's interactive and they start to see this as a different way. Being in about 15 different meetings now myself, I really can say the guests absolutely love Ignite and we don't even talk product. That's what's the best piece to it. That's what you can do before Ignite, right? What we will do based on some of Vicki Hacking suggestions though, which I loved from last month, we probably next month will be adding a back of the hand facial to Ignite to show them how to quick show and sell Jaffra. Just to give them one little fun new way um, to demonstrate Jaffra before they do their Ignite calls. But I want you to really as a leader model. How can you recognize your consultants who bring potential consultants? How do you teach them how to get a guest ready to come to Ignite? Look left and look right. Those chairs you want to have as potential consultants for you and specifically at least your new managers. And why not you fill one table full of guests and watch the difference of what happens? The key is all of us bringing guests to everything we do this year. Our, our goal for the month of April and May, these are our dates that I will be face-to-face -face in cities. This week, I'll be in Greenbelt, Maryland at the Courtyard. So make sure if you know somebody in that area, you're inviting them as potential consultants as well. Tewksbury, Mass on Wednesday night, Holiday Inn. Next Tuesday, Billings, Montana. So excited to be out there on the 18th. You can see all of these in the national calendar as well. Those are the English ones for the month of April. For the month of May, due to the Believe Tour, I will only be in two live cities. As of right now, I'm, I'm just working on my contracts. But May 15th will be Portland, Oregon. That's a Monday night. We're going to shift it out a tad different at the courtyard. May 16th will be Long Beach, but I'm going to try to move it to the Holiday Inn. Um, I will send my official calendar as soon as I have it done with contracts this week. And again, what a great opportunity for face-to-faces. -face. So who do you know in any of these cities that you and your consultants could invite potential consultants? And with our Zoom, I just wanted to also come back and say we've got April 17th this week, or next week, excuse me, and April 20th for our Zoominars. This is where you save a room, and I can have up to 45 different rooms at one time. And so far, this is who I have. If I'm missing you, please remind me. Janice Todd, Donna Hayes, Wanda Paris, Cheryl, Syke, Cheryl Sykes, Michelle Ainsworth, Diana Driggs, Lisa Washington, Debbie Saucy with two rooms um, so far for the 17th. 5 to 8 p.m. Pacific time, uh, Laura Morales from your training department will be with, it, with me and co-hosting the meeting. And um, oh, thank you, Cheryl. I did get your message. You need two rooms. That's great. Thank you. Um, but for the 20th, I've got Londa Carter, Maureen Droz, Susan Nichols, and Carolyn Murphy-Brown. It doesn't matter if I'm live face-to-face -face in your city or not. Save camera rooms, and you can absolutely grow your team of consultants and potential consultants. In the month of May, I changed this, so please take note. But there will be two, um, and I, Sandra just got your message as well um, for the 17th. So thank you. I've got that. Um, I do have on Tuesday and Thursday, we're going to do it the first week of the month so you can leverage the follow-up after. So on Tuesday, May 2nd, we will do 3 to 6 p.m. Pacific again, which will probably suit the East Coast um, and the Central time zones better. And then on Thursday that week, we will do 5 to 8 p.m. Pacific, okay? So those are your Zoominars for the month of May and April. I do want you to see that just in the first seven weeks, we are already seeing the leaders who attend Ignite are growing by 10% in sales. We are also seeing that uh, those that are attending Ignite are growing by about 18% in central branch sponsoring and 15% of our leaders attending are moving up in title because it's all about confidence builders. So the reason I brought that up is I want you to see what we do at, at Ignite is what you want to weave into your weekly Zoominars, your weekly meetings, your monthly meetings. Do your teams come with a contact list to every single meeting and you could do a drawing from that and then you're going to build with who you know that. Do your teams at every single meeting share a my story. So we're going to start doing that in all that we do as well. I'm going to start to engage people differently now that we're all understanding the stories. But again, who can share my story? 
again, writing scripts about calling people to book a party, to join the business, to attend Ignite like you have in your monthly meeting this month, to um, you know have a facial, to attend your party. Help them make a list, write their stories, and write their scripts. And then at your meeting, I know Marie Menard is doing this so well, they're doing phone calls and they have accountability partners and they're challenging each other to do calls at every single meeting. That's the game changer. Those are what's called IPAs, income producing activities. Work weekly with those that attend and the most important thing is not attending Ignite, it's what you do to follow up with those who attend Ignite. The success comes in the follow up. So make sure that group of igniters get together each week and focus on these key topics. So let me move forward and then I'm going to take a break for the audience in just a minute here. <coughs> so the key thing that's going to keep happening, whether you're on a Zoom camera or you're in a room live face to face with me, anytime you attend Ignite with a guest, if that guest joins at the meeting, you are registering on someone's laptop or tablet at the meeting and that coincides that if she signs up that night by my special code at the meeting, she will automatically get her Spark Ignite kit added with her kit um, when she joins at the meeting. You will do this on Zoominar next week, okay? So I will have a way for you to do that right there in person. So very important, they're sitting next to you in the Spark Ignite meeting um, on Zoominar or in a meeting room. Or if they're a new consultant from 2017 and they are attending their first Ignite meeting, they will get the spark pack okay so they get it as well we don't want you holding a contract because they came to a meeting sponsor them now when they're ready and then move forward okay so that's the spark remember the reason spark works if i recorded a three-hour meeting it's going to be tough enough for two hours here right but you can break it into segments an hour of recognition and listening to each other and then an hour of feed the brain but at, a, at an Ignite meeting, it's what happens at the tables. It's interactive. It's not about recording the training. The content is so basic. It's everything that's in the 90-day guide in those first 21 pages um, and much less. So again, it's really about the interaction. Please make sure you've hosted your April business meeting either by Zoom or in a room face-to-face -face because there, that's where we're helping you create the four steps to phone calls. And we're all focused on Ignite events because we're seeing the new consultants that come to Ignite or Renewed are literally with parties on their books, open houses, they're selling and they're sponsoring. There is nothing better than this training for a new consultant. So very, very important. So make sure you're bringing that content of the leaders monthly business meeting to your team. Okay, so very, very important. I just want to wrap this section up with other things that we have to support you. And then I'm going to open it up for shares before I end with the action planning section of our webinar. Sorry, my voice is starting to go here. So what we also have is the Move It Monday calls. These are the team members who are going to be on schedule. If you have to shift around, it's okay. I've moved a couple of you. Um, around. So if I did move you and you can't do it, that's okay. You can text me or WhatsApp me. But as of right now, tonight's meeting, this is where our leaders for Hawaii Five O are coming together and they are presenting 30 minutes of training topics and live interactive coaching and Q&A at the end of the webinars for our future managers across the nation. Tonight's topic is sponsoring with Lori Alley and Sarah Hippel. Next week, if we can, only if we can, um, Lisa Washington, Cherie Lester, um, and Wanda Parrish, if you could come back and do prospecting leads to sponsoring, um, and they're kind of a combined topic, please do so. And then Vicki Hoover and Gail Jamison, we're going to have you on like we had originally for the 24th. Linda Potter Lint, Gina O'Neill, Donna Hayes for sales building the first week of May. Jan Iverson, Beatrice, and Helen for sponsoring. If two of you can come and not three, that's great. If your team can't come, no worries. Just let Lori and I know and we'll find replacements or you can go into your teams and ask for replacements and help each other. Remember, we keep all of our information flowing from our board of directors, Aspiring Aspire Club, and Amber Region Leader page on Facebook. That's our groups. 
I want to end with this before I open up the microphones for sharing. I'm going to have Carla share about Dallas. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And then I'm going to ask anybody who wants to share about Ignite and what's happening to their team or themselves from Ignite. And then I'll come back and have any questions on leadership development um, and any of the other support pieces I'm sharing with you right now. But before I end this section and open up the mic for this 30-minute section, I did want to remind you to go into jafferroyalty.com and pull up the recognition e-brochure. This is very important as you outreach to your leaders and you set those goals like Sharon Knight talked about that someone doesn't forget. We talked about business builders and how that could grow you to DM3 and above. Well, look at this. In the brochure, you want to set your goals right now for you and all of your leaders and future leaders. How many will be sponsoring stars at 2017 or 2018 National Conference? We will be celebrating those with 10 to 14 with the sponsoring achievement pin. These are the business builders, okay? That is anyone, again, um, that has 10 or more business builders, and you can see down in the fine print what that means. It's really the Fast Start program, so look at the details. I won't read them here, but please pay attention with your team as you set goals for the details in the bottom corner of the brochure. Then we go to level two, will be 15 to 19 business builders. You get the Swarovski water drop earrings. Level three, the beautiful, oh my gosh, double bangle. The level four is the um, pendant, and the level five is the watch with 35 or more. <coughs> so again, very important that you are setting your goals and your team goals to business builders, okay? So make sure you take a look at that. Next, we even have the team builder. This is really important because time's already ticking. This is for consultants who lead and leaders who personally sponsor three or more QNCs per month, at least nine out of 12 months. This is what I was saying last week. QNCs do matter. Right here is a key component to it. But you must have three QNCs nine out of 12 months. So if you didn't do it in January, didn't do it in February, didn't do it in March, You've got to start in April and do it every single month for the next nine months. And when you do, <coughs> you get to pick an award. That's what I love. Look at these gifts. These are amazing. We want to give you coaching. We want to give you Gucci. We want to give you TVs. We want to give you Marc Jacobs. We want to give you great tools that build your business and build your brand and maybe a little family fun if you'd rather go to Disneyland. But this starts right now. So this is really, really important to pay attention to in your national annual recognition brochure. The next piece, again, to setting goals. We did recognition already, but are you tracking to the goals for national recognition for 2017? It starts at the $12,000 level for everyone to have the pin for personal ordered retail this year, January 1 to December. But look at the levels. Level two starts at 15,000 for the Swarovski pearl earrings. Then it goes to level three with that beautiful freedom bracelet, bracelet with 20,000. That's over 1,500 a month, right? That are a little over. Then you've got level four is the 30,000. And so again, taking a look at what you're doing really matters with the beautiful pendant. And level five gets you the zip wallet. So again, pick your levels and accumulate all of the gifts. So as you do recognition, do your on-track year-to-date as well. But set your goals with your consultants, future leaders, and leaders. Then we have our VIP Sales Club. This one is for the VIP superstars, everybody who has an average of 5,000 or more in personal ordered retail sales. Daphna Amir, uh, Linda Hartley, Janet Zanini, Phyllis Luther, we saw some of you top in sales. This is the average to be able to, excuse me, take, again, the Tiffany Infinity Pendant. How beautiful is that? But we don't want you to be missing it, and we're already three months in, so keep tracking. The Royal Jelly Sales Club is for all consultants and leaders who have 8,000 or more. So even if they're not averaging the um, $1,000 a month for the 8000 or more for the year, they can also at least be on stage earning the beautiful uh, Royal Jelly Decanter. This is a collection item with our personalized medallion. 
<clears throat> so as you do that recognition, like we did in the beginning, you want to look at what is your team doing, and then what does Jaffa have, and what could I add in for recognition? This is a biggie, ladies, central branch sales growth. You heard Cheryl talk about the growth that she's having. Sharon Knight, Linda Wright, we're seeing some of our top uh, district growth and branch growth. Here's for branch sales growth. All leaders who grow their central branch ordered wholesale by 50,000 or more this year versus prior year um, will be able to earn a $1,000 cash bonus. So very important, you don't want to lose that. So make sure you're really tracking as you're using your reports. The President's Club, many of you are already in a President's Club this year with monthly calls with Paulo and Scott. If you want to be a part of that, here's what we're doing for this year's President's Club. You will, again, be recognized at National Conference. You will get a special trip to the headquarters to meet with the President and help him plan our future. You will have, again, private um, hotel accommodations when you earn the summer trip. And you're going to have free registration at National Conference. This is so incredibly cool. It's our top DM3s and above, which is why all I'm teaching you to do is how do you aspire to get to DM3 and above and beyond this year. But you must be a DM3 or higher by January 1st of 2018. You can see my whole purpose and how we're going to support you with even more with Aspire Club 2.0 coming this fall. So that is our key as we continue through the spring quarter, focused on leadership, continued sponsoring, business builders. Not only do you have all of the incentives along the way right now and Hawaii, you also have all of that recognition at Jaffa Royalty. And it begins with national recognition and your one focus to get to your first 20 business builders or fast star succeeders. Don't forget, your Fast Start program has two parts to it. Don't just focus on sales. Focus on part two. And as Sharon Knight shared with us, don't judge that they don't want to earn both. Remember, your existing consultants only, only have March, April, and May to do part one and two. To earn their $1,500 in sales, to start that one year of Free World Jelly Rituals, and to become a manager. Three months for your existing consultants before March 1st, and six months for your new consultants after March 1st. So again, remember your newbies get enrollment month and the following three months. You had the best sponsoring month, so now this is the month to follow up to ensure they QNC and they get on track for the 1500 for Fast Start. And again, please look at your details at Jaffa Royalty because the way they qualify and promote to manager and maintain is different, and they don't get the iPad Mini until they qualify and maintain for the following two months. I wanted to share a little bit uh, about Carla. Carla um, did something on WhatsApp, and we're trying to help you keep business building simple. And then I'm going to open the mic to Carla to come back in um, with her simple focus, but most importantly as well, talk to us about Dallas. As you're working with those business builders, remember to keep it focused. Keep it simple based on the way they want to do business. How do you succeed in Jaffa this year? Sponsor and turn them into business builders and show them how to sell and sponsor like we do at parties. The key is, again, you talking to people every day, holding weekly parties will lead to weekly sponsoring. And as Carla said on our WhatsApp over the weekend, keep it simple. Going to Business Builder could be 15 Stay Royal clients, could be 15 facials or back of the hand facials, could be picking your favorite offer each month and building to 30 of those offers selling, could be 30 sachets taking a three-day challenge, could be a weekly party. The best is to do launch parties with a goal to book one to two bookings and have one to two sponsors so they're focused on part one and part two and that you're hosting guest events and product and opportunity demonstrations, whether it's by camera or it's face-to-face. -face. Pay attention to the details of qualifying and maintaining because, again, it's different than your compensation plan. If you have any questions, ask each other on WhatsApp or Facebook or come to me. The key, again, is talk simple, as Carla talked about. Then mentor your groups each week. 
Using the 90-day guide, even if the program changes, don't worry, we're going to make you a 90-day guide that's online and easier to use. It's coming soon, so stay tuned. But it shows them to go into Be Beautiful each week, and we invite them to be on Move It Monday. Look at your calendar right now. Do you have your parties all set? Do you have team parties? Do you have your April area meeting? Do you have your district or lineage meetings? Do you have new consultant training, their welcome orientation? Do you have prospecting events to do together or product opportunity demonstrations each week? Are you set in your calendar for weekly parties with weekly sponsoring? You want to keep the process going. Use the tools that you have, but get those consultants off to a strong start like you heard Linda talk about today. It only takes 15 minutes a week or 20 minutes a week to gather your team together. And like Sharon said, to gather their goals and follow up. Keep looking for those business builders this spring and invite them to be leaders. I love the income opportunity brochure talking about leaders because Jaffer leaders have more income and more rewards like you see on the screen. Show them how to plug in all the tools we have from my Jaffer client, Client Direct, Be Beautiful, monthly brochures, and our seasonal catalogs. Show them how leading a team can build their income and build their community and their commission. They have sales commissions on themselves and their team. They can do it digitally, socially, and online. Show them the many benefits from Mercedes-Benz to car allowances. That loyalty club is simple, but only focus on Beauty Pro and Beyond because you want to help them earn perks from two, three, or four perks every month and the best commission every week and every day with 50%. Keeping that commission in front of them, showing them that our leadership program has eight choices for them, and it starts with weekly parties that leads to weekly sponsoring and inviting your team to do it with you. Starting with four consultants on the left, and building 15 other leaders who start with four consultants on the right. Simple, simple, simple. Your compensation plan guide has everything you need to show them how proud you are out loud of your Jaffa commission. So let me pause a quick second before I go any further. Bear with me. And I want to just open this up. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is really going. I want to stop talking. And I want to open this up to Carla, who is with us today. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. And Carla, I want to say thank you. Carla, are you with me? Can you hear me? I'm on my phone. Yes, love to have you. Thank you. I want to open this up to the WhatsApp. A um, couple of things. I thank you for sharing on WhatsApp how you simply found a focus, like one special offer of the month to help business building. So I'd love you to just share how you're keeping business building so simple. And then if you don't mind, just share um, what happened in Dallas as well. So go ahead, take it away if you don't mind. No, no problem. I'm gonna have to, okay, maybe that will help. I will break down everything into bite-sized pieces. So if it looks like it's insurmountable, how am I gonna do it? A person that is a business bill has to do fifteen hundred, or she has to do five hundred a month. So you break it into a bite-sized piece, and I found that that could be as simple as fifteen stay royals, or take a number like. $50, and how many times would you need to sell that $50 item in order to get where you need to be? So that's where that came from. I've got a bad echo. I'm, I'm sorry. You're okay. You sound okay. Thank you. All right. Uh, and you do this every month. So you look at your catalog and you say to your team, what's your favorite item that you could sell the most of? 
if she's never been a consultant before, she may not know that many people. So keep it in the $25 to $50 range and encourage her to start selling those from the beginning of the month. Five stay royal. If she did five a month, she'd be a business builder. It's that simple. Mm -hmm. Excellent. It's so true. And I, I think, you know, we're hearing a lot of $500 parties, $1,000 parties. I mean, it, it can be as simple as Carla said. Which way is best for you? And how quick do you want to get there, right? So it could be three parties or 30 customer orders. It could be 15 stay royals or 15 facials. What is the way that you can do Jaffra alongside your busy life? And how quickly do you want to start making, um, you know, that five to $700 profit? Do you want that over a month, two months, three months? How quick do you want that? So I love that, keeping it that focused. And then who do you know that would want to start the business with you um, at this time so you can get to goal one and goal number two? So I love that. That's awesome. So Carla, tell us a little bit about Dallas, if you don't mind. Oh, we lost her. I did see she got kicked out by her phone. So um, is there anyone else with us that was at the Dallas function? Okay, let me unmute everybody really quick. Bear with me. Anyone that was at I'm Dallas? Still here. Oh, there is that you, Carla? Yeah, I'm still here. Oh, good. Sorry, I lost you there. Okay, let me mute everybody. Now. I got rid of the echo when I turned. Bear with me, bear with me. Sorry, honey. Okay, hang on. I'm going to unmute you because it got really staticky. <clears throat> okay, hang on. I do have to unmute you all. Sorry about that. Go for it. Tell us about Dallas. With 700 products and a team of people working 12-hour days, you know we're going to have problems in our shipping. Mistakes are going to happen. However, we have a scientific machine that takes all of the dimensions of every product in its packaging into consideration. It puts it all into the computer system, and then one of our fabulous girls handles taking your orders and putting them into the computer. I don't know the secret to how she does that, but she does, and everything gets barcoded. And so you may have noticed on your, your recent shipments that there's a used to be a little tag on the side of the box with a barcode on it. Not your address barcode, but different ones. Well, now that, that barcode is set up with a number. And that number is put into the system. So as your package goes through the pick line, they, the lights come on, and the girl knows whether it's in front of her or in back of her. The front top sellers go in the front. The not so good sellers go in the back of the line. The light comes on. She picks from whatever the, the light says to pick. She pushes turns that number off, and then it tells her whether the package continues on the line, or if it's done, it goes to the front of the line or front of it. The Girl V Torca station is color-coded front and back, so there's a red section, a blue section, a green section. The items are not put together so that there's any mistake. You won't have the two newest lipsticks side by side. You don't have to worry about her grabbing. I have to keep everybody unmuted. I'm sorry. Doing good. How are you doing? <laughs> uh oh. Sorry. <laughs> oh when an item, when the box is full, it gets pushed to the front of the line to get loaded on the, the first truck of the day. When it when it has to go through the rest of the line, it goes through the rest of the line. There is a machine with a punching bag at the end of it that weighs the package. If the weight isn't right, the punching bag comes out like a giant fist and pushes your package into a special area for personal handling. And someone, someone else 
check your order all the way through to make sure they didn't put too many or too little products in it. And they told us they did 600 orders on Thursday. We were there for a good part of that. And there's two trucks a day. And we can, we can do up to three trucks a day according to the UPS, depending on what season it is. UPS was there. It's recommended that you all subscribe to the My Choice option on UPS. Because that lets you know when that package is on the truck and when it's out for delivery. And you can change, if you need to, you can change your delivery time or location. All the details are in the My Choice app. That's a UPS app. Uh, I think that's about it in a nutshell. So Carla, how do you feel about this whole new program? What, what do you think about this system? When I watched the supervisor take two items out of the box, and so the weight was wrong. The barcode read was red, and the bill said wrong wrong weight. This one's got to have personal attention. When that punching bag went point and pushed it into the special area, they had me. I was sold. <laughs> oh my gosh! And if you I ever had ever had too many or too little items in your box? You'll appreciate that. Yeah, and I think we've had, and you had this too. I know I've been hearing this when I've been on the road. There's been kind of some hiccups in the last few months in this transition as we're getting the system right. So just know yeah. that the system's in place and up and running. So future forward, like you said, there's going to be some error, right? But everything now just is so much more detailed that hopefully as we see the system now in the line, we're going to see so much better delivery and success to our orders. So um, I know this is very innovative, very expensive, and um, I couldn't be more proud to bring one of the best systems in the industry to us all. So I'm so glad you were there. How fun. We were jealous watching you all on Facebook Live. So great job. I love it. We had a blast. It was a <laughs> real, really good learning experience. There, there is a camera. After it goes across the scale, it's accepted. It goes under a camera like those red light cameras you see that you that all of a sudden there's a flash. Well, there's all of a sudden a flash, and it goes on to have the uh, air pockets put in it. Awesome. And they explain to us that the air pockets are used. We watch them fill the air pockets and put them. They, they're on a machine that fills them with air right there, right on site. They don't have to store a lot of stuff. They explain that, that that is the way that we're going greener than most companies because that air is not, it's not those peanuts that were all over your living room that people were wanting Andrew to come clean up. And it, the system is very efficient. Wow. Well, thank you for representing all of us across the nation. Appreciate you, Carla. Carla thank you for sharing. And thanks for sharing on WhatsApp how to keep simple towards business builders. I love it. So thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, I know it's staticky for a quick minute, but we're getting down into our final section. But I wanted to just open up the airwaves, and I'll mute everybody, whoever decides they want to share. Is there anyone who would like to share any of their um, experiences from Ignite and how this training is helping you and or your team? Lots of static. I know. I'm just waiting for somebody to share, and then I'll mute everybody. Is there anyone who has been to a few Ignites that would want to share what has been happening to themselves and their team differently as a result of Ignite? Yeah, I will. Thank you. Go ahead. Okay. Um, what I've noticed, even though I know it's... Bear with me really quick. That's you, right, Norma? Yes. Okay. Let me mute everybody. Okay, I'm going to unmute you, hon. Okay, go for it. Thank you. Okay, great. Um, I have been to about three, uh, starting with the one at conference, well, one in Phoenix in the conference, and then the one you did last week. What I've noticed is even though uh, some of my consultants that have attended are not new or even guests, it has done uh, just a tremendous uh, 360 in their confidence level. Specifically, Hurley, that you mentioned uh, last week. 
um, she told me she made an appointment that night and it was scheduled for Sunday she was terrified she told me I says of what you know it's like how can I help you anyways I told and I says I'm not gonna go with you I'm not gonna do it for you she's been in uh, some time but um, I said, the best way I can support you is to let you do it by yourself. So she had a personal appointment, uh, and it was a friend of hers from back when, and she did it yesterday afternoon. She sold 300, <laughs> and the lady wants to know about joining Jafra, and she wants to know about the leadership, all in one. Wow. And she says, oh, my God. So that is what it's doing for Ignite. So I, I always encourage my consultants to go, especially the ones that need that training, that boost, that encouragement, uh, that confidence builder, which is what I call it. So uh, it, it's just, uh, I, I love it. It's, uh, it makes you do what you say you're going to do, and you don't. You know, uh, we've all been there, I'm sure. And then the other one that I noticed was Irene, the really cute one that was at my table. Um, I do a work, I offer a workshop uh, to my team based on Monique's videos. So I offered a uh, workshop for Wednesday on the blending and these stuff. And so she said, I want to go. I says, can you bring some guests? And she goes, yes. So that night she invited two. And so now it's a party. So that's what we're going to do. And so that's what this is doing. So <laughs> I encourage them all to go. I don't care how many times we've been to them. Each time you uh, you grow another notch. So I just wanted to share that, that I'm, I'm and, and everybody loved you, of course, and everybody loved Ignite, and, and some were hesitant to go, uh, but I kept encouraging them, and so it was great. Thank you for that. Awesome. Thank you for sharing. And it is... Uh, every meeting's different. There is not one the same. We will always have the same content, but it changes by the audience and the experience. So um, thank you, Norma. I mean, it really is amazing what we see in confidence. That's what Ignite is about. That's what you helping with scripting each week, following up. I love the idea. Whatever Monique does, we demonstrate live. That's so smart. Just having places to bring people together and help them dialogue, help them talk to people. So um, again, when we look at what do we have this quarter for you? What is our spring focus? Ignite keeps going and going. We will keep developing more and more training into Ignite. We will find our way to do that from, you know, Ignite Zoominars to Ignite in a meeting room. It doesn't matter, but it's that follow-up that really makes the difference. We're bringing you more leadership coaching uh, development face-to-face. -face. We're going on a Believe Tour. Get there and believe to get some leaders and future leaders there wherever you can. So we've got more support for you. As we continue to do that, again, as you know in our calendar, um, we will absolutely continue our weekly Hawaii Five-O coaching group every Friday. You have the boxes in purple on the screen right now are the beautiful uh, webinars. There's one tonight on the 10th. One on the 13th at uh, 5 p.m. Pacific is the legal one. She has all of your questions. Um, so Anna will be bringing you all that you want on the policies and procedures. And on the 19th, we'll be featuring Lori Duncan. And how is she really out there reaching millennials? And what can we all learn from those experiences as well? Uh, so again, it's doing a combination of making sure you're coming together in a room, uh, coming together as a coaching group, and utilizing the Jaffer training. So have your team get on a beautiful webinar and do a little drawing when they report the top two things they learn. So I love, you know, kind of taking that scenario of what Norma's doing. Here's what Monique trained on. Now let's do it live and get people in a live room. Great. It's that continuation of using what Jaffer is giving us from training and experiences and coming together. So I wanted to just end again. Here are all of the different pieces that you have for training support uh, going on this month in the action brochure. So again, how do you drive people to attend this? That's really kind of the key com component to it. Also, how are you using, I love this reminder, how are you using graduation certificates um, at your meetings and doing graduation when people get through the modules? Believe it or not, a lot of Ignite training 
is in their modules. A lot of Ignite training is in the 90-day guide. So again, how do we keep that alive? The more they train and apply and practice, the more success. So I'm always trying to add another layer of recognition into your team and at your meetings. As you do your checklist, we're gonna do the fast summary to closing out the month. The fast summary is taking the month at a glance. I love this document. It's in Be Beautiful for you. And, <coughs> excuse me, downloadable files. You have it here. What's your key focus on marketing this month? The Diamonds Blush, Mother's Day. Coming up as a team, what would be the top five winning picks that you and your consultants would pick for Mother's Day shopping? That's a fun thing you can do at your workshop or on your weekly coaching. And then I love the whole nutrition of royal jelly parties. Um, and you've got the hair care party in the action brochure. So are you modeling those two parties? You could do a really fun, healthy salad. And people bring different toppings to fit the nutrition of Royal Jelly skincare that's modeled in the monthly meeting. And or again, using the, I call it the trestles party, but the botanical hair party, right? How to have a hair system, botanical hair system with Jaffra. That's another party. I know Janet Zanini does a ton of hair parties and very, very fun. So how are we modeling that and how do we help people try those each and every week? Keep modeling it with parties. Keeping, again, their party systems in place. They've got the Royal Jelly Infusion Duo, and they've got the Botanical Expertise Hair Kit. Those are items not for retail. They're to be added into their kits, all right? So those are options. As you call your consultants, the reason I'm doing this sheet of paper, not because you can't read, but this is a checklist of as you're making those calls Linda Wright was talking about and Sharon Knight, you're going through the checklist of what you want to remind them that they may want to add to their order or get so they have their parties booked for April and May. Then we go into the Jaffa Welcome. This month only, focused on the $29 kit. This is great for our former consultants through uh, the 15th to come back with a kit option or those who have said someday, someday, but I can't afford to. You've got your $29 kit. You've got the Jaffa Believe Necklace, which I'll talk about in a second, and you've got the new consultant pack. We've now expanded that to 90 days instead of 60, by the way. Lowered the price and gave them more time. So we'll break that down in a quick second, like Carlo was breaking down Business Builder. Then again, as you go into this Believe Necklace, it suits us. It's about believe, become, and belong. Those are really what our whole mantra is this year. So don't go without earning this necklace and helping your new consultant do the same. And it's our last month for your preferred level and your beauty fans to earn 50% if they haven't before. And you've got great loyalty club offers. So as we track success, it's tracking to the summer trip and focused on those business builders from January through May, June, or, um, June 30th. And it's focused on, again, you and your existing and new consultants earning the mini iPad, not you, sorry, um, the consultants only by title, earning the Royal Jelly for a year, and the mini iPad. And this month only, this is where, again, we want to be a mentor, right? <laughs> Sponsoring, again, 42 in a central branch. How cool is that? When we take a look at this bonus, sponsoring five new consultants in April, who have $500 in accumulative sales, start to move you towards that bonus. That's how you get the 100. So you've got to focus them on 500 this month. That's why early bird sponsoring matters, because you're sponsoring them in April. They have 500 in personal sales towards this bonus. You have five personal, you get $100. Then there's five indirects, you get another $100. If you do another 10 indirects, for a total of 15 indirects, you get another 150. That's a $350 bonus. How do you do that? Again, <clears throat> sorry for my voice, I'm so sorry. You will get your bonuses as you look down below. When they have $500 in sales this month and 500 next month. So you can see this online, but they're doing 500 each month like Carla was breaking down for us to break it into monthly bite sizes. So think about, can you do phone challenges to your consultants? Can you do early bird sponsoring reward from your team for anybody who sponsors this week? 
how do you drive your indirects and sponsoring like we did with WhatsApp, the 10 minute a day phone challenge, so on and so forth. What could you put into place this week? Again, for the necklace, uh, what you've got for the necklace, sorry, <clears throat> my voice is really leaving me. Um, with the necklace, forgive me, you've got the sponsor one, she does 500 in sales. You get the Believe necklace, that's this month only, so everything's going hand in hand. Then when she does her 500 this month and 500 again next month, she gets the necklace herself as a new consultant. So this month you get it, next month she gets it, but it's all matching to the 1500. So we wanna focus on getting them moving the month that they join, like Carla talked about. That's where a welcome party, a launch party, and the simple way to break down 500. Remember the consultant packs, in case you don't have this number, the consultant packs are 90 days. The first one that skincare has 21 products, that's $952 each for those products at cost. That's ridiculously amazing. Then you've got the mixed pack with a little bit of everything, 26 products at $7.69 each. So make sure you're showing them that these packs are a fun way to get more products into their kit. They do count towards their $1,500, but it gets them out there with more products to show and demonstrate Jafford to build their sales. And again, remind everybody <coughs> for the kits this month, the fun recipe for better skin. What a fun way to do a nutritional skincare party, right? Whether it's back of the hand, face to face. As your checklist of calling them, maybe you're inviting them to attend your Royal Jelly Nutrition Party. Maybe you're inviting them to do your Hair Trussles uh, Botanical Hair System Party. Remember, they also, no matter what level they are, if they're one of our top three levels, these are the offers of the month. That's building their retail. That's building your team as well. So we want to remind them of the loyalty level they're at and take that time to teach them loyalty based on activity and sales. Take that time in those reach out calls to show them the hot offers of the month. Those are some pretty great values um, when they look at what they're really paying at cost for those items to add to their kit and again, to use more of those 700 products that Carla talked about. Don't forget in your checklist of calls as well, you've got a demo pack coming out April 15th through the 30th. This is commissionable with our new fragrance and our new mini and the new Royal Jelly Extra Soothing Balm. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited Royal Jelly continues. Two great demo packs. So as you're reminding them before the close of the month uh, for the April 15th paycheck, and then again, it starts again next week. And remind them this is their last chance to order those April brochures. So think about your checklist. 50% for your preferred lo loyalty levels and the fans. You've got your former consultants are still sponsoring through the 15th. And if they sponsored last month and did their royal jelly, free royal jelly because of an order any size, great. This month they're ordering their decanter. If they're still coming back by the 15th this month, they, and no matter what, if they just became formal April 1st, it still counts. They can get their lipstick this month and the decanter next month. Remind them of all your parties, your team meetings, Believe Tour, Ignite Tour, our Ignite meetings on camera. And who do they know that might want to make more money or would be a great leader and loves to lead teams and have success being the CEO of their life? It's time for more people to spring into income. Here's that reminder of your formers, and again, remember that all ends April 15th for any formers to join with a no-kit option, and then the sales continue through this month if they join last month for the decanter at 400, this month for the lipstick any size, and decanter next month for the 400. And those of you with five or more QNCs, there's just a handful of you, don't forget when they all place their $400 order again this month as a QNC from last month, you earn that Royal Jelly Banner, okay? All right, here's that extra 50% for preferred customers and beauty fans this month only. Everything's focused on 400. Why not do a monthly shopping date with all of your consultants who are inactive or former? Send them a full-size product catalog. Show them how to shop every time our new catalogs come out. So you've got the new spring, summer, 
Why not send those to those consultants who don't order often enough and show them the four categories of products and help them do a master shopping book until the new one comes out this fall. I used to love shopping dates where I help all the consultants come on a conference call or Zoom and we page through the four product categories. I help them buy what them and their family would use, who they would show and sell to, and all the giftables they might need over the next six months. You buy a one-time catalog and watch how you're showing them to expand from maybe using five products to up to 700. That's just an idea you might want to do now that we're really using the Zoom. All right, so as we finish, I'm not going to go into training, sorry about that. Remember to block your calendar every day. Use your office activities at the low priority times of the day. You only have so many hours or 5, 10, 15 minute segments of the day. Make sure the most important minutes of your day that you're at your peak or the most time you have available is doing people activities. That's the phone calls we all talked about today. The rest, the office time, do that on your downtime or when it's quiet time. People are first, and that's where you're going to build your team, from prospecting, meeting new people, and contacting your clients, your consultants, and your leaders. Helping people promote to manager is our whole focus this quarter. Make sure you've got three to five you're working with every month. Plug them into Move It Monday and build that team to build your district this year. Focus on 20 business builders and helping them each week set up some activities with mini coaching groups, WhatsApp, and Zoominars. Then on the back side, do your office time on your quieter time. Remember to invite people to build this business in leadership. Expand your reach and end every conversation with, who do you know that? They all are six degrees apart from each other. But keep asking, because one person leads you to more, leads you to more. It starts with just three to five leaders, and keep asking who they know that, and you will expand into a district. As we have in our business meeting of the month, here's our key takeaways. Your action steps are to go out and offer nutritional, <coughs> <coughs> oh, I almost made it. <coughs> look on your screen and look at your final page of your business meeting. Whew. Set your goals for parties. Set your goals for sponsoring. Contact your customers. Invite them to join you or look for leaders. Remember, business builders, faster consultants are the key. I wish you all a successful April. I thank you for the March madness and momentum changing. My voice is over. I'm going to end. But I thank you for being the best team in the United States. You did change momentum. You are the game changer. Now it's your, your fame changing time. I celebrate you. I appreciate you. Thank you for a great leader meeting. And I will see many of you in Zoominars and in Zoom meetings. See you all soon. Bye, everybody.